So is your Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving. Yay. All right. I am Tara from livingonadime.com, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbooks. This is volume one. This is volume two on sale, 35% off right now. We'll do an update on when the books are being shipped in a little bit. All right. We're going to get started. I am making my Thanksgiving, I guess what, sides, my Thanksgiving sides for our Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. And we're just going to jump right into it. All right. First of all, I'm making my broccoli salad. Mike will put the link in the description below for all of these. This broccoli salad calls for bacon. Now, can you see in there? Oh. Can you see that? Okay, so what I do is I buy bacon ends and pieces for this was four dollars, so it was a dollar fifty a pound for three pounds. And I got 20 pounds of it because it was such a good deal. And what I do is I throw it in a great big pan like this and cook it. Now normally I cook the whole thing, I just didn't have time tonight to do that. That is how I save money on bacon. First of all, I get the ends of pieces. And there's lots of long, regular pieces in here. It's really good bacon for $1.50 a pound. And I just got this two weeks ago. So for all of you hollering about the price of bacon, I just got it two weeks ago. All right, so. Everyone's wondering if there's going to be a fire today. Oh, yeah. That reminds me, that one's up. A fire. Oh, turn on the fireplace, Dave. We got to be festive. All right, now. This is our broccoli. We have a couple of broccoli salads. The one in volume one, and I just discovered volume two. I accidentally put the wrong one in volume two. I thought I was putting this one in volume two. So we'll have to change that. But this is the broccoli onion salad. Okay. And what you do is you take your broccoli and you cut it up. And let me get go in here and by the way guys back on the bacon I save all my bacon grease in the refrigerator okay just in case you're wondering um, and then I use it for eggs and all that kind of stuff okay so I got my broccoli here and I'm going to cut it up into small pieces so go ahead and ask if you guys have questions for cooking. Well, it doesn't have to be cooking. Get together, Michael. Did you see what I just did? <laughs> so he snuck a piece of bacon before the show, and now he's choking on it. Then I had a cough drop in my mouth to make it go, and I just got the cough drop stuck in my mouth. <laughs> wow, good job. So now my tummy is not going to be talking. <laughs> well, there you go. All right, so we're cutting our bake our uh, broccoli up into small pieces. So give us your questions, guys, if you've got questions on making the absolute perfect turkey recipe. Guys, I'm telling you, if you want a turkey that actually tastes good, use our recipe. It's in Dining on a Dime Volume 1 on the website. Mike will put the link in the description. For what? For the turkey. Just do the 25 things. Mm -hmm. What is good? What? No. All right, go ahead. What's then I did demand another piece? Oh, of course, just put the Dave. recipes? Yeah. Okay. No, you're gonna be gone. I don't go ahead, Dave. Go ahead. Nah, nah. I insist. I will Dave. be the responsible thing and not take the piece of bacon. So then you guys can have more. Aww. I'm just yeah. You're yeah. being the responsible one, Dave. Mm -hmm. Aww. Okay. <laughs> then you're gonna take your red onion. And if you don't like onion like my mother, you could just use onion powder, but the red onion adds a little bit of festivity, color, festive color. Um, yeah, so if you guys have cooking questions for your Thanksgiving turkey or whatever Thanksgiving questions, go ahead and put them and I will discuss those while I am cooking, okay? So then we're chopping up our onion. Are you wanting me to give them to you now? Um, sure. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, Char said, what store did you get the bacon from? Okay. Um, here is the bacon that I'm crumbling into the salad. I got it from a store called Ridley's, but let me tell you, uh, 
Walmart has it. It's a little bit more expensive. Ridley's was having a sale that day. So that was on the cheaper side, but Walmart has ends and pieces. My Walmart, I looked the other day, it was $7 for three pounds. So that's two something a pound. And you can see, here's a couple of the big pieces, you know, I mean, that's fairly big pieces. It's big enough at least for BLTs if you want. And the the bacon ends and pieces, um, can you close it for me, is uh, a great way to save money on bacon. And like I said, I normally cook the whole thing up. I'll cook it up when I'm done, but. Living on a dime is live. <gasps> Living on a dime is live? Oh, is we should so watch cool. those people. I oh, love them. Show's great. I have to. Here you go, cameraman, just for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, a number of people saying they've never heard of ends and pieces and bacon. Yeah, that's how I get my, it's in with the bacon. It comes in a three pound package like I just showed you. Okay, so there's my bacon. Hold on a second. I forgot my towel. All right, and so then we've got our vinegar and our sugar <clears throat> and our mayonnaise <laughs> i do have all that extra what were you being sympathetic about huh you can use mayonnaise or miracle whip or if you're in the midwest miracle whip is mayonnaise <laughs> uh, yes dear I shared the link to the Thanksgiving recipes that Tara mentioned that has the turkey recipe in it, but I also just now shared the separate turkey post because it has more information than about okay. the turkey. All righty. All right. And so then you just mix all this up. Now, this tastes best if you can let it sit overnight. So it's the onion and the bacon, it just gets all that yummy goodness in there. Cheryl says she also puts shredded cheese in. Oh, shredded cheese is really good. And then you finish off with your raisins. Ooh, yeah, I bet. Oh, shredded cheddar cheese. <gasps> that would be delicious. Oh, We've my goodness. We've done that way before. But... That would be so good. We haven't, I've never made it with shredded cheese. Oh, well, the picture has shredded cheese. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be the stock photo then. <laughs> All right. And then here, let me grab just a little bit of this yummy goodness. Look at that. So if you're mm. here and you don't know. Oh, my goodness. That's delicious. If you. Oh, sorry. Oh, yum. That is. That's super, super delicious. I'm going to add just a titch more vinegar and salt. So one question we're getting a lot of. Well, not a lot. Sort of a lot is about cooking the turkey. I, and I sh we I shared a Thanksgiving recipes post and also a turkey post. Yeah. There are two recipes on the turkey post, and the super easy one is the one that Tara and her mom do. Yep. Uh, so, and that one is really really easy. The other one a little harder, but not that much. Looks all yeah. fancy. Yeah. All right. So there's your broccoli salad, guys. All right. So let me set this to the side, and now. I am making Watergate salad, pistachio salad, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, salad. This one, you know, grandma made in the 50s because grandma loved packaged jello. <clears throat> this recipe we didn't put on our website, I guess we should have, but I mean, like every website in the world has it. So just look up Watergate salad. Crushed pineapple, pistachio pudding, <laughs> right there. Get that in. We need to get this one on the website, I guess. We just didn't have time to get it up there because we have other things that we're working on. Your marshmallows. Oh, my goodness. This is so delicious. Your walnuts. You're moving kind of fast, dear. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And then we have our whipped <laughs> topping. It's not 
the same as whipped cream. Okay, now who, let me ask you guys this. Who saves these for Tupperware for your plasticware? You want to know something as cheap and frugal as I am, my mother would disagree, but as cheap and frugal as I am, I do not save these. I don't. Do you know why? Because I don't want a bunch of Tupperware containers that are sour cream containers, yogurt containers, butter containers, Cool Whip containers. I don't want that. I want all my containers nice and neat. Might go do a search real quick on our YouTube channel. We would make what? <clears throat> and type in plasticware. Mike is going to share a link for you guys to watch after the show of how I um, organize my plasticware. And I should have put the uh, whip or the Jello on or the pudding mix on top. Let's see, that one right there. I get one kind of plasticware, and that's all I use. And about once a year, I go get a new set for $2.50. And my plasticware is all nice and neat and in order. And I don't have to worry about it falling all over. It's all contained in just one little shelf. All right, sharing that video now. That is how I organize my plasticware. Oh, and I forgot the coconut. Where's the coconut? Oh, where is the coconut? Oh, where <gasps> Kimmy's where on. She's in her apron. <gasps> Kimmy! Hi, Kimmy. I was just watching you clean your pantry and your kitchen for Thanksgiving. I was so impressed. As a matter of fact, here, come up for just a minute. We got to get off topic for just briefly. So, Kimmy, at she's in her apron. Go check her out, guys. We love Kimmy. She inspired me to build my own pantry, but Mike doesn't know it yet. Oh no! <laughs> Please don't. She gave me a brilliant idea. So here's what I'm going to do. We have this humongous garage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock out part of the wall in the garage and build me a pantry. Oh no. Just like Kimmy's. Wait. I'm gonna do it. Knock out, you mean the firewall? No, the wall right there. The wall between the house and the garage is a firewall. Well, there's <laughs> another 20 feet of firewall. Knocking out five feet isn't gonna hurt anything. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, you inspired me. So I'm going to get that done. And then I also, hold on. Okay, come back up, Dave, since we're just chatting here. So you guys see this little section from my little closet door here? Yeah. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that closet, awesome. knock it out, so we can put the Christmas tree right there in that little alcove. <gasps> Whoa. I told Jack, do you think we could do it tonight before everybody gets here? He didn't think so. I thought we could. I See, Tar I said, oh my goodness, I guys. All, all of those of you who know Tara really well, she, she wants to completely scrape the kitchen right now. We were like, no, wait till Christmas. It was all <laughs> I was gonna be like a year-long excursion. It was all I could do to keep from disassembling my bar this week as I was trying to do cooking videos. Oh my goodness. I have a kitchen designer that I am collaborating with. And go check him out, guys. He's got some cool videos. Mark Tobin Kitchen Design. And we're doing a collab, and he's going to give me new kitchen drawings. And it was all I could do to keep from disassembling my bar today. Okay, so here is the Watergate salad, pistachio, Stella. Oh. This is the best stuff ever. I don't know who invented this, but whoever invented it, it is delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And double. Mm. Okay. What is it? Pistachio salad. Here, you want to try it? Here. All right. Jack is actually trying things. Come here. Come on. Jack is actually being. Take a taste sensation like you've never tasted. Oops. What do you think? Uh huh. Jack is always adventurous. Pretty darn cute and good, isn't it? All right. I could be adventurous. That's pretty good. 
<laughs> you're like nuts. I like some nuts, but yeah, I, I've been eating pistachio flavored other things lately, so I'm curious. All right, well, let's that's see. Straight up have nuts in it. So. Oh, that's a big thing of trying it. Oops. Mmm, man, that is really good. No, it isn't really. Mm. Pretty good, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. This stuff is really good. <laughs> All right. Watergate salad right there. Let me grab the next one here. <laughs> Yay. Ooh, wow. Little House Off Grid is here. Alderman Farms is here. Right. And we've already mentioned she's in her apron. Patty, oh my goodness, all my YouTube friends. I have no <laughs> friends in real life. I just have YouTube friends. Yeah, what are friends? Actually, what are real life friends? well, we're friends with some of them in real life. <laughs> we have to come see you, Rob, and then you can be an in real life friend too. <laughs> <laughs> but Rob has no trespassing all over his property because he's had some issues. Oh, are we gonna get so shot if we go on his property? I don't want to get shot going on his property oh, no. because that well that would really give him, that would really give him a good title, wouldn't it? <laughs> I just shot living on a dime to grow rich on my what? property or for trespassing on my property. Oh, what what is it while <laughs> while living in a tiny house? <laughs> You have the best titles, Rob. We absolutely love them. <laughs> Every day, my boys are like, oh, no, what happened to them today? <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely love them. Okay, sweet potato casserole, page 167. So Patty says not coming but cooking. <laughs> um, Guys, go check out Patty at Alderman Farm. She's doing a whole bunch of cooking videos, and I have been her... What, what do you call somebody who watches their videos before they go live? I don't know what you call that person. Uh, I have been her person who watches her videos before they go live, and she's doing some really good cooking videos, guys. Are you like a proof watcher? I'm a, a proof, proof watcher. watcher. There you go. There you go. Proof watcher. Dining on a Dime cookbook. Proof reader, Page 167. Sweet potato casserole. Oh, you're doing that one now? Sweet potato casserole. 35% off right now. So if you guys have ordered our books, ugh, oh, let me give just in the a, excitement with us. Let me give just a moment here if you've ordered our books. Oh, uh, here so I open you the page. The casserole. I'm making it right now. Is that in the uh, volume oh. one? Okay, so if you've ordered our books since June, and I am horribly sorry, I am horribly sorry. The latest update is they are sitting in a locked facility waiting. We're and not the only ones with this issue too. we are not the only ones with the issue. And um, yeah, so they said that they're going to start charging what, $100 a day per carton or per, per container? Yeah. That's Our left, stuff isn't the only stuff in it. That's yeah. left on the port. So they're hoping that will motivate the shipping companies to get their butts in gear and get those shipped out. They're still telling us November 30th to December 14th. Guys, I can make no promises, but that's what they're telling us. I am so sorry. Once again, if it's too late for you, please let me know. And I will um, be happy to give you a refund because I totally understand, okay? We're waiting till next week to find out. We're trying to figure out if we think we'll be able to get them still because we thought we'd be able to get some of them by Christmas. But I mean, two people by Christmas. But now they, they were telling we're us things that sounded like yes. And yesterday they kind of told me we have no idea. So here's the thing. We will let you know the second we know if they're not going to make it in time for Christmas. We'll take out mom's phone and go live. <laughs> yeah. Dave will send out a notice to all Wait, 1,200 Me? orders again. <laughs> and it took them five hours to do that last time. But we will let you know as soon as we know if they are not going to make it in, in time for Christmas. And if they are, then we're going to let you know by giving you a shipping label. I use the canned yams. You can bake your own sweet potatoes if you want. I just use the canned yams. Do it however you want. Oops, I forgot my butter. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. All right. So 
I've got my canned yams, my butter. <laughs> I just put the, oh no, that's right. Oh, whoops. Okay. Dave, hmm? go melt the rest of the stick of butter for me, please. Okay, I forgot way, I needed double butter. Huh? Little House Upgrid. Uh, super chat ten dollars. Awesome job. Ah, oh, thanks, Rob. <laughs> yeah, we love Rob and Carolyn. Carolyn never shows up on the show. She likes to stay incognito. See what she does is she stays behind the scenes, mm -hmm. so it gives that that air of of curious, mysterious, <laughs> mysterious mystique. <laughs> okay, so I got my eggs and my sweet potatoes, my homemade vanilla. Or surgery, or surgery numbing, um, emergency surgery numbing. <laughs> Homemade vanilla, dining on a dime, volume one, or on our website. And then my sugar and my eggs and my sweet potatoes. Okay, so now. Sorry, this. Sorry. Um, Dave, can you have me? See, guys, I tell you, I try and try and try. I just cannot get organized. I just can do the absolute best, and I just am never organized. It just never works. And that's an understatement. And that's an understatement. Okay, so I am smashing up my sweet potatoes. Now, you don't want these, like totally mush. You want to leave a little bit of, see how I left a little bit of chunks there? I just mashed up the really big ones. Yes. Another one of our awesome YouTube friends is here. It's Joshua Talks Food. Oh, Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. I've been sharing some of his videos. Yes. I Joshua need to go share. Awesome. I'll share another one tomorrow, Joshua. Okay. <laughs> thank you. All right. Sweet potatoes. In your pan, you should grease it, but I forgot the grease, so we just won't worry about it. There you go. And spread it in your pan like so, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your flour. Whoops. That's a little too much flour. My flour. Okay. Okay. And then my brown sugar. And this is the topping, guys, for the sweet potato casserole. Okay. And then my pecans. And we are going to mix all that together first. Oops, a big old piece of brown sugar. We need dad with the sledgehammer, like the brown, how to soften brown sugar video. Yes, mm -hmm. that's that's a wonderful video. That video did really well. I don't know. I think it's got at least a hundred thousand views now, probably more. All right. Then you get all your chunks. Okay, so see, that's what you got there. Then you pour the rest of your butter in. Like so, and you stir it around. Lots of people saying yay. So happy to see you guys live. Oh, and guys, it looks like we are going to have planners for 2022. So if you are wanting a planner, they are going to be set for sale on Friday. I hope. <laughs> for sale on Friday. Should we, do we end with you? Thank Kimmy for pointing us in that direction. And thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> we are having, we finally found an American printer that could do it for us and do it quick. And so we're gonna have 2022 planners and they should ship out within a week to 10 days, fairly quick, I think. Okay, then you're gonna throw this in the oven and bake it and you have your sweet potato casserole, guys. Is that not delicious? Uh-oh, what is that? Lori super chatted 19.99 and she's got a cute little, little, uh, Number one. <laughs> on there. Yes, I don't know what you call that. Oh, thanks, Lori. <laughs> A sticker. Oh, yes. All right. Next, we have our super easy three-ingredient chocolate mousse. Mike's going to put the recipe for you. 
Now, you can make this a couple of ways. You could do two ingredient chocolate mousse with Nutella and um, uh, whipping cream. Um, actually, go to my go to super easy recipes. I have that recipe on super easy recipes, guys. My other cooking channel, uh, which I really am not supposed to be promoting from here, but I'm going to do it anyway. You can see um, it. You just can't. Well, I'll just put the link in there. It's going from YouTube. What to is YouTube. it from? Uh, the two ingredient Nutella uh, chocolate mousse. So this one is a fancy chocolate pudding. I would use a high quality. Well, you don't have to. I mean, you can just use the Walmart great value, but I do find that the chocolate tastes a little bit better in the more expensive. So spend the dollar instead of 50 cents and get the, get the fancy one. Oops. And so I got my pudding and my milk and I'm getting it all mixed up here. Right there. And then I am putting my whipped topping, Cool Whip, whatever you want to call it. If you want to use real whipped cream, go right ahead, but that's not cheap, so I don't do that. There's the whipped cream. And then you just fold in your whipped cream and let this sit in the refrigerator for just a couple of hours. Um, and then it sets up really nice and thick, but get it all mixed in here. Oh, yum. Look at that delicious, yummy goodness. So we're going to have planners, guys, and they're going to be 20% off because I know it's been such a pain and I'm so sorry. Uh, Andrea is wondering, is the pudding instant or cook? Instant. All right, Jonathan, right there is your chocolate mousse. I yeah. need a taste tester. Come on. Uh, All right. Taste tester. Here we go. Oh, stop. Wait. Oh, no. Jack, okay, hold on. Just a moment. Yeah. We have to catch the moment on camera. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. It tastes amazing. Is it delicious? Yes, it's very oh, good. Is this the mousse? <clears throat> this is a chocolate mousse. I, I think I'm, I might need to make sure it's okay. <laughs> you need to make sure it's I'll not have to poisoned. test it. Okay. I'll have oh, to test no. it prior to letting the queen eat it to make sure Here, she doesn't dad, get poisoned. Let dad test it. She doesn't get poisoned or anything. Yep. That'll be my cup bear. Yum. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure though. It might be poison. Jack, can you get me another spoonful just so I can make sure she's going to be all right? Sure. Okay. He maybe got a lucky spot. Uh, so we had a, I've been missing a lot of questions because we. Okay. Uh, let me finish my last one and then I'm going to go through the questions. Questions about the recipes that you're okay. making. Okay. Just a second. So I'll I'll answer them all. Just scroll up the screen. Oh, can you mm. capture them real quick? I've been trying. Okay. Go capture them. And then we have Dave's favorite Ritz crackers. And squeezy cheese. There you go. Dave absolutely loves oh, the yeah. canned cheese. And so, hold on, Dave. We need a taste tester, Dave. What? This is all Thanksgiving food, so no, no you can't Jack, eat it. Jack can taste test this. Come on, yeah. Dave. No. I might also try one, just in case. Oh. Here you go. Or not. Oh, all nice. right. We got Dave's squeezy cheese. Yeah, yeah. You didn't come here and say how delicious the squeezy cheese is. Yeah, Dave always loves squeezy, squeezy cheese. Dave love loves the squeezy, squeezy cheese. cheese. And we were totally laughing because we were like, you know, moms make Thanksgiving so complicated and all they want is squeezy cheese. You know? Um, I so, think it's about the pudding. That, uh, Rachel was asking, do you put something in it or just eat, eat it like a pudding? I think she's talking about the mousse. The mousse? Uh, nope. But Dave, I need my computer in those two packages. Um, the chocolate mousse, you can add anything you want. You could add crushed almonds. You could add coconut. You could add chocolate chip chunks. 
you could add um any ch cherries oh my goodness maraschino cherries would be really super yummy um anything like that you could do yeah uh sorry i was trying to grab timothy asks why aren't you peeling the onion i did peel it you did peel it uh -huh. okay was it a red one uh -huh. is it red on each layer uh-huh so that's probably why it looked yeah like i did it peel it that's probably why it yeah appeared i got the peel, peel here well you can barely see but i did <laughs> she was just sneaky and quick about it all right uh wow i haven't been able to catch up so i'm not sure on the questions are you ready for questions yeah, i'm waiting on you <laughs> did i get new glasses <laughs> yes i did and mike didn't even notice let me see wow well, you look just as beautiful as you did. You can't tell any difference, can you? <laughs> no, <laughs> not even when I, not even when I know. I got new glasses yesterday because my other ones I couldn't see right, and I had um, them made twice, <clears throat> and I just gave up on the second time because we were in the middle of moving. So I just got a brand new pair, and I think my eye doctor must have written the wrong prescription because I still can't see with these. And we order our glasses online, and. 15 years we've been ordering our glasses online. I mean, we've probably ordered 100 to 150 pairs of glasses with six people wearing glasses in our family. And I've only had an issue once of them not making it right, and then they made it right. So I think my eye doctor did it wrong because I still can't see correctly. So um, if you asked the question earlier in the show, I might have missed it. So if you want to post it again, I will definitely refer to Tara. Cat lover said a frugal wife who loves to cook. I love, and then she says, oh, sorry, that's her. Cat lover, a frugal wife who loves to cook. Says, I love Jack. He's such a cutie. He's growing so much. Aww. And your mom was mentioning about his height. There's a small issue with mom right now. Oh, mom can't kiss the top of his head anymore. <laughs> I can't. Mom is officially so shorter of the bunch gang. No, Ellie's the shortest. I'm the second shortest. Well, I said you're shorter. Oh, you're shorter. shorter. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Laura G. Hi, Laura. Good to see you again. Uh, question, which are better to use in a green bean casserole cut or French style? Whatever you want. I got French for our green bean casserole, but if you want to use cut, you can. It doesn't matter. I think the French would make a, a better texture. I like texture. the French better, but. Yeah. Um, it kind of depends on your preference. So, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to quick. Oh, I'm, Margie's cooking a Godiva chocolate mousse right now. Oh, yum. Are you cooking in the living room? H. Smith <gasps> wants to know. No. So, this is actually still my dining room, but my living room is right behind it. So, uh, Shar asks, Yay for planners. Will we get an email if we are subscribed? Yes. So, if you are subscribed to our newsletter, go to livingonadime.com. Mike will put the link in there, or it's in the description below. For what? the newsletter, sign up for our newsletter. We will let you know Friday when we plan on having them on sale Friday. And I don't know. I don't have, let me see. He he's, he's third quickly working on today. Let me see if he's got, um, he does not. Um, let me see one more time. Oh, shoot. He doesn't have the cover yet, but let me see if I can find the cover that I chose. Um, ah, sorry. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can find it real quick because I had to look through several. But go ahead, dear. Did you have another question? Well, I'm look, I'm, let me look for... Or the border while you're going well, ahead. Andrea just said, happy Thanksgiving from Thermopolis. She said, <gasps> I used to buy bacon ends and all the pieces at the time. You need to get back into that habit again. And then yeah. I said, we need to come check out Thermopolis. She says, you need to come check out the pools. Think Glenwood Springs without the crowd. Oh, Tara, I, I am there tomorrow. <laughs> I was wondering about that because we, oh, here's the cover. Sort of. Well, okay. This isn't the exact same one. This isn't it, but hold on just a second. Let me show you guys. We had a bunch of new people on. Uh, Deborah, Deborah, hello, welcome. And the others, I said welcome in the chat, but I can't remember. 
Welcome, guys. But a lot of people are saying this is their first time on the live stream. Okay, this isn't exactly the cover, but it's going to be similar to that. Can you see that? It's going to be a little bit similar. Oh, no. The camera's blowing it out. Now can you see it? No, now can you see it? No, you can't. Now can you see it? Not really. Now can you see it? Oh shoot. Okay, well, it's another floral, it's another floral um cover similar to what we had last year, but this one's not gonna be this one's gonna be white with red and bluish purple flowers on the front, is what it's gonna be. So Susan says hi from the northeast of England. Oh, hi. I would say happy Thanksgiving, but you would think I was crazy. So. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to the current ones. I was looking back to see if I missed some comments. And I also do have some over here that I did mention. Okay. You pull a couple of comments. Well, I, let me give thank yous real quick. Patty, I think I forgot to tell you thank you for the gnome you sent me. Thank you so much, Patty. I absolutely love it. And then I got a card from... Vicky for Thanksgiving. Thank you, Vicky. And then B sent mom and or us and mom, the Kellum family and mom a card. Thank you very much, guys. We really appreciate it. Okay, can I open my presents while you're pulling comments? Oh sure. Okay, well, Mike said I need I to need... watch for this. I can't be pulling comments. Mike said I needed to open these on the show. Okay. So let's see what he got. I said she needed to open them today. She said on the show, and I said, sure. So these are for my Christmas present, but he said I need to open them now because I'm going to use it for Christmas. Oh my goodness. <gasps> ah! Jack, can you bring? Oh, there's a knife right there. Oh, how cute. Oh my word. Are you kidding me? I saw it today and I just couldn't resist. Did you see there's a woman? Yes. Oh my goodness. I, I accidentally <gasps> got turned down a certain aisle that I normally wouldn't have gone down and I was like, <gasps> oh my goodness. I love those moments. Okay, you guys know I love gnomes. It is. <laughs> what is that supposed to do? Mwah. Thank you. Oh, it's a just... wax melter. Oh, so you yeah, put yeah. your wax in here and it the light melts the wax and makes the house smell good. Yep. And you know how mom likes to have a candle or whatever sitting oh. out? I thought, oh. actually called your mom just to say, do you think? Because I she uses candles a lot, but I've never seen her with a wax melter and I wasn't sure if you would like that. It's the mousse for Thanksgiving in particular. Oh, yes, that's so cute. Is. Yes. It's story. okay, Mama Karaba. You made it. And we're still going to be on for a while, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let us get the next one. So back to the planners, guys. Yes, we are going to try and get the planners done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> I could not resist. What is it? Is it like a little a candy, oh, a candy jar? Candy jar. Oh my goodness, look at that. I oh. thought, oh. And I was thinking right. since, since some of the kids are coming over for Thanksgiving and all, maybe we needed to have that so we could. I think I did need so those could, before Christmas. I was thinking you're not quite bonding oh. and with the house would be improved by having yeah. lots of gnomes around. Oh, and you even got me wax melts for my melter. Yes. Oh. And I would have. Oh. I oh, packed them in yum. The that smells good. Oh, well, that smells like Christmas. That's what I was hoping. Yeah. There's one that said Christmas fireplace, but it smelled <laughs> kind of weird, so oh. I didn't get it. <laughs> well, this one smells really good. This Yay. smells just like a tree. Oh, oh man, it does. Thanks. Mm, Do you welcome. know me? Now, see, most women ask for Tiffany's. <laughs> I ask for gnomes. <laughs> what is a Tiffany? <gasps> oh, oh, no, wow. Dad. The boys don't know what Tiffany's is. <laughs> oh. They're going to be in trouble when they get married, aren't they? Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, Tiffany's is the probably the most famous probably jewelry store in the world. Yes. Oh. And it's like super expensive. So like one ring is like fifty thousand dollars for one ring. Oh. It's oh. like super, super expensive. I was gonna say, did we go there in uh -uh. Europe? But no, that was, that was Harrods. Else. Yeah, that was Harrods. <laughs> Grandma's so happy homestead. Mike knows his wife's heart. <laughs> yes. So for those of you who don't know, I am a huge, huge gardener, like mega gardener 
So I love gnomes. Jonathan says, Tiffany's, it's where you have breakfast. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Will Ellie and BJ be joining us for Thanksgiving? Um, Ellie, Emily, and Grandma are driving up tomorrow morning. They're going to be here tomorrow. They're driving up from Colorado. BJ, unfortunately, has to work Black Friday at his new job. And so um, he cannot. We're very sad. And by the way, this will be the first hi year. to the viewers that saw him at work the other day. <laughs> I don't remember your name, but he told us about meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Whole bunches of ones. Uh, well, a lot of a lot of things to look through here. Our, uh, Jennifer, oh Jennifer, our family did food drive in our neighborhood, and we collected 141 pounds for the Boulder Community Food Share. Wow! Wow! Remembering that caring about others is so important. That is Yay. great. <laughs> a plus for Mike. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, um, I think this is going to be a winner. Actually, I saw that one and I was like, oh, because oh, back when we first got married, she was super excited about gnomes. But in those days, they didn't have any. Well, you could get gnomes from Sweden and they were like two hundred dollars each. And yeah. we had no budget for it. So nope. one year I photoshopped a bunch of pictures together and made yeah. her a little collage because yeah. we didn't have any money. Oh, look, isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> uh, so are we are we recording our Thanksgiving? <laughs> Probably not. And well, your mom will be here though, right? For it. Yeah. yeah, my older kids don't like being on the show, so we don't usually when they're around. What site did you get your glasses from? Zennyoptical.com. Z-e-n-n-i optical. Dot com and guys, I need to get an affiliate with them. I've probably made thousands of dollars recommending them, and I have never had an affiliate. <laughs> but we, I mean, we've been ordering from them for 15 years, and it does take two weeks approximately. Although this time it only took a week. Now, go figure, it took a week to get my glasses when it normally takes two weeks, but our books are still sitting behind a gate in Seattle. Yep. So, we have a couple of people that we've met here that are also self employed. And they have millions of dollars of inventory just sitting and waiting to. Yeah, we were at a little get together the mm. other day with some friends we've made here. And like several different families all said their businesses have inventory that are that's gone. And it was so much more yeah. than ours in cost. And I was thinking, oh, I mean, smokes. they're they're in the millions of dollars. And I feel so I mean, we're only what, maybe a hundred thousand dollars or something, but theirs are in the millions of dollars. And I just, I feel so bad for them. And one of them was thinking they were going to have to lay off people because they don't have their parts right at Christmas and Thanksgiving because they can't do their business. So it was really sad. Okay. I saw a turkey rest, a turkey question. Uh, sorry. Yes. Yes. Uh, hang on. Sorry. I was just responding to Cynthia says, appreciating you from the Philippines. Thanks a lot. Uh, welcome. Welcome. We I'm actually really support here. a church in the Philippines down there. Well, uh, yes. So I... Uh, the turkey, turkey question. Turkey question, right, right. Uh, well, the, the one you saw was from question. Amazing Grace Ranch. What time at night do you... I put my turkey in to cook all night. You said when you go to bed, but I just need to know how many hours to cook it. Okay, so here's the thing on the turkey. If you a lot want of the questions on the okay. turkey. Okay, put your questions in about the turkey and Mike will start pulling them. No, I mean, a lot of people ask about what you're about to say. Okay, here's what you do. Your turkey should already be defrosted. If it's not defrosted, don't panic, okay? If your turkey's already defrosted, throw your stick of butter in there, take out the giblets and the neck, put it in the refrigerator for gravy tomorrow, put your stick of butter in the turkey cavity, turn it breast side down, it looks like a heart, so the wings are up, and you'll see the wings up, Cover it in foil, or I have a turkey roaster with a lid. Put your lid on. Put it for two for 180 to 200 degrees. It just depends on how you want to do it. But I put it for 200 degrees. I put it in at 10 o'clock at night, and by 9 o'clock in the morning, it's usually done. So then what I do is I debone it at 9 o'clock in the morning, and I take it all off. Put it in another pan, pour some of the juice over top to keep it moist. 
put the foil back on top, put it back in the oven and let it just sit at 170 or warm in your oven, whichever you want. You could put it in your crock pot and keep it on warm if you want. And that's all you do. Now, that's if you're eating around noon or one for Thanksgiving. If you're eating around five or six for Thanksgiving, put it in the morning in seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning, and then let it cook all day until five or six o'clock at night, and then just serve it at five or six o'clock at night. If your turkey is still frozen, do not panic. Run warm water over the cavity. If there's a gravy packet that's plastic in there, run it over the cavity, pull out your, your gravy packet after it defrosts. Now this will probably take five or 10 minutes of running water on it to get it defrosted around the cavity. Okay. Just run water on the cavity. Be careful. You're not splatting turkey juice all over. Run it very gently. Get your gravy packet pulled out, throw your butter in and still just do the same thing. And if it's not done at nine or 10 in the morning, just keep it roasting until one or two o'clock in the afternoon when you eat it. Or if it's the morning and your turkey is still frozen, turn your heat up to 350 degrees for an hour and then turn it back down to 200 degrees and let it slow roast all day. This is called slow roasting a turkey. People have done this for, well, not millennia, but thousands of years because that's how you slow cook meat and make it really tender and juicy. And you should have seen, Dave, can you go grab my phone for me? You should have seen the juice from my turkey the other day. I have a huge roaster. It's this big. I have a huge roaster. And it filled the entire roaster with juice and was overflowing because um, I let it cook a couple of extra hours just because I couldn't get to it at that time. And um, so I took a picture. And let me show you all the juice. Oh, oh, we just got the plant. Ah! We just got the planter cover. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on just a second. For you asking about the planter cover, can they see that? <laughs> no, it's blown out. Oh, come on. Yeah, the camera's not Can you pull wait, it in? Hold on a second. I, I can't focus. Here, wait. If, what? if you make it go full screen on the image, then it'll. Uh, okay. Here, here let's wait, try wait, that. wait. That doesn't have like somebody's phone number. No, huh? Okay. Okay, now can they. See? Oh, <coughs> still can't see. Hold on. Wait. We got to do. They have to see this. Just Wait, show them later. Leave with it a cliffhanger. There, there. Now, can you see it? Not really. Well, sort of. There is a 2022 planner cover, guys. Oops. Oh, what'd you do? You click the turn screen. It. Is done. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Mom doesn't know. Uh, it's kind of at a sideways time. angle. Can I you know, turn it? but I can't. It's oh, blowing out. Yeah. There. Can you kind of see it a little bit? Yeah. It's a little. <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard, but. Anyway, we got ah. the planner. Okay, so now let me show you the turkey from the other day. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, right I'm here. Simply... Oh, I can't. Okay, I let's don't see. Give people Look. Look at all that juice, guys. Look at all it. that juice. I can't see it. You can see I see it right there on the screen. It's out of focus. Well, it's fine. What? <laughs> we have a new camera. Oh. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> uh, you guys get the point. So don't panic about the turkey. If you get to, let's say it's noon and you're eating at one o'clock or 11 and you're eating at noon, an hour to two hours before, check your turkey, see if it's falling off the bone. If it is not falling off the bone and you're eating in one to two hours, kick your heat up to 350 degrees and let it finish cooking, it will be perfectly fine. It is perfectly safe. Everybody says, oh, you're gonna get food poisoning. You're not gonna get food poisoning. People have no problem cooking in a crock pot at 200 degrees, but they refuse to do it in an oven. That doesn't even make sense. As long as your turkey gets above 165 degrees, it kills all the bacteria. It is perfectly safe. 
So go ahead and slow roast your turkey and have it delicious. The so, temperature of your turkey is 180 degrees when it's done. But it just needs to be over 165. <clears throat> Mine just gets to 180 because I've had it cooking all night long. Get it together, people. I love it. The planner is so pretty. Yay. Yeah, I'm so excited. <clears throat> okay. And go. Oh. <clears throat> Go ahead. I've been promising to ask the question for a while. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Louisa and Aaron were both asking about where did you get the apron? So and is this, it for sale on our website? This is um this is my apron that I sold, let's see, two years ago. Two years ago I made aprons. Well, two years ago we had the same problem. Our printer screwed up our books and we had no books to sell. Oh, and we were making and that's, that's when I came up with the planner. And, yeah. And I made these aprons to go with the planner. And we had the same issue two years ago with a different different printer. Um and so uh yeah. Oh, they got it for sale. Okay, should I okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on just a second. I'm live right now. Put the planner on sale and people might want to buy it now. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know where to send it. Okay, hold on. When Let Tara me gets see. in the mood, she just goes crazy. Let me see if they can get it. And then if they can, I will. Um... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think about this. Okay, so I told him to put the planner on sale. We'll see if he can get it done while we're live. And then if you guys want to order it. Now, here's the thing. We sent out a notice two weeks ago or three weeks ago saying we weren't doing the planner because we just couldn't find a printer. If you ordered the digital planner and you want the other planner, the print, print planner. planner Email me your receipt number after you ordered, and we will give you a refund on the digital. Because I totally understand you don't need to be buying two planners, okay? So um, I will do that. My Well, my assistant will do that for you. And it will probably be Monday or Tuesday because it's the weekend, and I don't want her week. She's got five kids and a newborn. I don't want her working on Thanksgiving on all that, Okay. So, All right. Oh, I'm so excited. The planner looks so good. <laughs> oh. uh, Carol asked, what is the weight of a stick of butter as we don't have that in the UK? When we were there, there was no butter, no sticks of butter. I forgot what it was. Um, so the weight, um, the weight is, well, let's see. So a stick of butter is four ounces um one, one person says oh wait that's the whole the whole stick is four ounces sherry says one cup but valerie says a half cup so a stick is a, so a st in the united states a stick of butter is a half a cup and four ounces okay so i don't know how that translates to grams but just type in four ounces equal grams and on Google and you'll get a translator. Was the, the butter was a bigger block there, wasn't it? Mm -mm. No, it's a half pound. It's just cut differently. Uh, okay. I just can't remember when we, I know we had butter, but I can't remember what kind it was. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, yeah. So at, at the moment we don't have any aprons available though, right? No, I stopped selling aprons because I had a shipping issue where people were ordering them with the books and it was costing like $15 more to put an apron in and it ended up being a huge hassle. So I just stopped. I'm sorry. I know some people have wanted it. We should find a place that does them. on. Okay. The hold on. I think he's got it on sale. The planner. He's got it on sale. Let's see. Let me look. Let me look. So two, how are you gonna ah! Okay. Here. You ready? Get the link. You ready? <laughs> Okay. Okay. In the leafy treetops.com. Can you send me the link? Oh, okay. Here, let me try that. In the leafy treetops. You guys are watching this happen live. Oh my goodness. I've never put a product up and for sale live before. I haven't even made a description of it. I haven't even seen it. So it's going to be 
an uh, eight and a half. Is there a specific place on here? Eight by ten. Um, let's see. Planners, maybe. Hold on, we're trying to find it here, guys. <laughs> oh, there Let we me go. Oh, 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 it's official. It's official. Okay. Hold on. Let me show Wait. you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tara's excited today, I see. <laughs> Which is good. Okay. So now this is not the size. It's going to be the 8 by 10 size that you guys loved from last year. You guys love the big 8 by 10. It's going to be that size, but it's got a hard plastic cover so it doesn't weigh so much. It's got a heavy metal binding so it will hold together really, really well. Now, mine does not have tabs because we couldn't get it done fast Ooh. enough, but there will be markers for the month. Uh, so there'll be little markers for the month. So I shared the link, but it's not linking because it's not our website. Oh, well, no, it is linking on YouTube. It should. That's strange. Uh, oh, yep, it does. It does look like a link. All okay. right. Planners. We're doing Black Friday early. 20% off right now, guys. Go to In the Leafy Tree Tops. You can see the, uh, see the cover. And it will probably be... I didn't get a date for shipping, but it'll probably be like the end of next week or so, or the beginning of, or the first week of December. I can't remember if the Kerrygold butter is the same size as the stick. Is. Yeah. It Kerrygold is a, is a pound too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, cool. Actually, this reminds me when we were in Ireland, they had like rows and rows. Well, no, they had a huge aisle of rashers, which is basically uh, Irish bacon. And then there was this one little spot and it said American bacon. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious because rashers are huge, chunky pieces of bacon, kind of yeah. almost like ham. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So once again, if you guys order the print planner and you ordered the digital planner before, email me, go to, con go to living on a dime to the contact form, email my assistant, just send an email and she will give you a refund on the digital. If you ordered the digital, but you want so this. Laura is wondering, will the planner be budget oriented? Yes, it, was the, it is. It's the same style as the planner yeah. we had before. Yeah, it's the same planner we had before where it has the budgeting places, uh, the budgeting, the debt payoff, and the budget pages are in there. But it'll yeah. be a binding more like this. Yeah, but this is just the binding. This is eight just eight by ten though, right? Eight by ten. So yeah. it's gonna be about this, about this big. Okay. So it's the bigger planner that you guys liked from last year. And Vedetto asks, how many gnomes does it take to roast a turkey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. As I'm many sure as you can get in the house here. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do a gnome Christmas tree this year. I think I'm going to have uh, to put up a second Christmas tree. So gnome Christmas tree. Mara, I'm going to share the link again, but uh, she asked on the turkey. Uh, I'm sharing the turkey link again to the... Um, to the recipe, but she asks, do you start at 200? She's not sure. And then your mom's has started at 250. So my mother is contradicting me. <laughs> you can do it either way. Mom starts it at 200 and turns it down to 180. I just set it on 200 and it does just fine. She so said your mom's you is 250 here down to 200. Yeah, that's what I said. said she starts at 250 to down to 200. You or, said 200 down to 180. Oh, I thought she did 250 down to 180. So it's 250 down to 200. Well, she said it's 180, to be 180 up there. at the end. Well, she's contradicting herself. She said 100, oh, 170 or 200. So here's the thing. It just depends on your oven. Some ovens don't go down that low. So I just put mine at 200 because I had a couple of ovens that wouldn't go lower than that. But at that low of a temperature, it it's not going to hurt it no. if it's... It's, it's like cooking it in a crock pot because it'll it, because of that it can go for hours longer and not burn yeah. right yeah uh nice and so that the there's two the one that we're talking about is the not pretty one right yeah the super so if you want to do the, one. if you want to do the pretty turkey it's the roast sticky turkey and it's really good too and that one has a pretty crusty skin if you want so yeah, the one that's super easy, like takes five minutes worth of work and then nothing else. Um, and it tastes amazing. But if you want to take a picture of it, then you want to do the yeah. other one. Yeah. Well, and you <laughs> it's can. It's not bad. It's just. 
Well, you can just roast your turkey without the foil at 200. I did that the other day. I didn't put foil on it and I just roasted it without and it came out with a really good skin. All the, the turkey that I used in my Thanksgiving leftovers video, I didn't put foil on it and I just roasted it at 200 and I had a really nice pretty skin on it. I mean, the turkey was upside down because you want all the juice going into the breast of the turkey, but hey, you know, the turkey's like, does it really matter <laughs> if it tastes good? Uh, okay, so let's see. Tanya, I just made the apple crumb pie, pumpkin pie, and dinner rolls all from your cookbook. Aw, thanks. Tracy, greetings. Your slow oven cooked turkey is amazing. Made it last year and a treat again this year. Yum. All right, guys, if you've made our turkey, put it in the comments, please, so that people know that it actually works. People think we're crazy. But I'm telling you, we have the best turkey recipe. You don't have to brine it. You don't have to do a ton of seasonings. You don't have to do celery and onions and all this putting butter all over everything. It oh. is the easiest recipe you'll ever use. And that particular one, you're not supposed to stuff it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, somebody earlier asked, Somebody was, some, a couple people were talking about putting it in in the morning. And then somebody also asked if it's 13 pounds, how long, but it says on the, it says on the post, like for so many yeah. pounds, but if it's 13 pounds, I cook it like a big chicken and I will cook it about eight hours, eight to 10 hours. So the morning thing is if you want a early to mid afternoon. So done, to put it right? in the oven in the morning, you're eating at five or six at night. If you're eating at noon or one, put it in the night before. Okay. We eat around noon or one on Thanksgiving and just have one meal for Thanksgiving day and just eat on it all day long. Uh, Sharon, hubby cooks turkey every year. It's amazing. He makes stuffing all from scratch. He covers it in bacon strips and then in foil. Makes Ooh. a pacing sauce. It's yeah. totally delicious. Never dry. Yeah. Love from Oz. That's <laughs> similar to ours. Yeah. Well, good That's morning. To ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good morning <laughs> and happy summer. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alicia making a French vanilla fluff cake. Let's see, we answered about the bacon. Uh, somebody was asking earlier, yes, we do live, a live stream every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Mountain. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Looking through comments from before, then we can go back to some of the newer ones again. Oh, wait a minute, go back up again. Uh, I have a question. Do you guys have any Thanksgiving traditions? Life with Taylor. No. Well, Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Yeah. Sorry. I got new glasses. I can't see anything. Um, life with Tyler. Because <laughs> that's why you have glasses. Just so you look beautiful. <laughs> I, I, we're going back to Colorado to go to the dentist next week. Or, yeah, next week. Oh, next week. And Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to Colorado next week to, to go to the dentist. And um, I'm going to see if I can get in the eye doctor, I think, because I think she messed up my prescription. But anyway, um, our Thanksgiving tradition used to be eating out. This is only what the third Thanksgiving, third or fourth in 27 years that I've made Thanksgiving dinner. I thought we had some and then we stopped having them and started eating out more. No, we ate out in Idaho. Yeah, but then we did when we were in Kansas, we had it for five or six years and because you and your mom said you liked all the leftovers. And oh, then, did we? Well, maybe we did for a couple of years with my brother. Yeah, we maybe did with my brother a couple then, of years. No, because David doesn't like getting together for Thanksgiving. Yeah, but we still did. Because I remember at, like, we have pictures at different houses of all the whole spread with all the... Okay, well, maybe we did it a few more years. But out of 27 years... And your mom years, your brother there with those little croissants. Out of 27 years of marriage, I can't... I can't... I, we may be done five or six Thanksgivings, maybe. Because we just always eat out. But now the kids are older... It's just gotten too expensive, so we don't eat out anymore. Uh, okay, looks like I got those questions, so let's go over here and see what these might. Wow, there's a snowstorm in Denver, Colorado. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Madeline. Wait, it's snowing in Colorado right now? Because Ellie and Grandma and Emily supposed to be leaving tomorrow. Uh, although they're north of Denver, so maybe that would be. Uh, somebody asked how much snow have we gotten. We got one snowstorm that was about... 15 to 18 inches all at once of really heavy snow. And then it's been a month since then. And we, it's been a month, six weeks. Yeah. Six weeks. It's been six weeks since then. This morning we had a, just a dusting of snow and that was all. <gasps> it is snowing there. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, Oh no. Ooh. I hope the roads are clear for them to come tomorrow. A lot of people saying you will not fail with Tara's slow roast turkey. So delicious. 
Yay. Is it oh, is it better to cook two smaller turkeys or one extra large turkey? That's up to you. Same difference, probably. Yeah. Uh, do we have an electric or gas oven? It's electric. electric. And somebody, your mom was warning people to make sure that their ovens don't turn off automatically. Yeah. Because if you do the slow cook and it turns off in the night, that could be a disaster. My oven clicks off after 12 hours. My old oven used to click off after eight hours. So what I would do is in the middle of the night, if I got up to go to the bathroom, I would come and check it and just turn the oven off and then turn it back on again. I don't think it's a danger being 200 degrees. I mean, it's it's just like running a crock pot. So as an example, Deborah is asking, if you have a 16 pound turkey you're eating at 1 p.m., you what time should I start, please? That would be the, just the night before. The night right? before. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, how does the eye doctor mess up your prescription? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm pretty sure she did because I've had three pairs of glasses. And she's, I took the glasses. Cause, so right before we moved, I went in and got an eye exam. I ordered the glasses. They they got here like two days before we left to move and they didn't work. So I took them into her and she said they were made wrong. So I sent them back and then they said that they were made right, but I still couldn't see. And so I'm going to go see if I can get in. Um, <laughs> Tommy says, shoot it up with the spicy juices and deep fry that sucker. You sucker. You know, our, uh, our sheriff's department's, sent out a warning online saying not to explode your turkey by deep fry. <laughs> they were, I guess, apparently they've had problems with people causing turkey explosions. I don't know, fry. Tommy. If, if you're going to be if, doing that, you better be filming. But Tommy's formerly law enforcement, so he's probably <laughs> got mm. a defense against that. <laughs> Pam, there's no hoping that the turkey will work. It will work. I promise you. It will be the most delicious turkey you've ever had. It, it just seriously. falls right off the bone. You don't even need a knife yeah. to get it off. And seriously, guys, I put... So I've made three turkeys in four weeks. Right now I could choke on turkey and it's my favorite meat. <laughs> but I've made three turkeys in four weeks. One of them was completely frozen. And I didn't have time to defrost it because I had to get the video done mm -hmm. the next day. I just threw it in the oven and it turned out great. So don't don't panic, even if it's not frozen. Wow. Just get it cooking. Lots of people saying, I've made your turkey patsy. I've made your turkey a couple times. It's so tender and juicy. So good. Jane, it works. So tender and tastes great. Cindy, you do not have to cover it with foil if you have a cover for your roaster. I have a new... I have a turkey roaster. Hey, J Dave. I have a turkey roaster. I'm going to have Dave go grab it for me. I got it for a dollar at a garage sale. Where is it? Uh, can you grab my turkey roaster out of the garage real quick? Um, I got it for a dollar at a garage sale because I was going to use it as a planter. Yeah. And I just grabbed the thing up and I'm like, oh, that'd be a really nice planner. And I got it home. It's on the floor right in front of the shelving right there, the big silver one. And I got it home and I was like, wait, this is a really nice roaster. I don't have a turkey roaster because usually I use a foil pan for cleanup. But with this thing, it is stainless steel. Where did you get it? It's probably 1950s, 1960s. Wow. And it's stainless steel. And it is, it is 18.8 stainless steel made in the USA. I paid a dollar for this baby. And I just put the lid on and go for it now. I don't even use a foil thing. It's super easy to clean up. The cleanup is hardly anything because it's stainless steel. So, yeah. Pamela, I'm not a jewelry type of girl either. I've got a food processor for an early present. I've enjoyed so much today. Oh, yeah. I'd rather have something like that. Tara has never really been into to, um, jewelry at all. Leah says, not snowing in Fort Collins. That's good to know. Um, oh, that's weird. Weather.com says it's snowing there. <laughs> uh carrie how's the weather in wyoming it's 
was, it's been pretty nice. Really nice. Really. It's, it was yeah. a little, it was slightly cool a couple of days, but, um, we well, had we've one been big, outside walking and yeah, we've had one big dumping snowstorm six weeks ago and then it's been, we had a dusting this morning, but I mean, it was a dusting a couple of days in the thirties, yeah. but a lot of days in the fifties. And mm -hmm. that's kind of surprising. Although if we get the slight amount of wind, it really makes it feel yeah. cooler. Deborah, I signed up for your emails and I've appreciated you sending your recipes. Thank you. Yeah. If you guys aren't on our newsletter, it's totally free. Um, our newsletter is 100% free. We send out free recipes, free videos, and notices when um, our products are on sale or that type of thing. So if you want them on sale, Tommy says. Some people having trouble with, well, one, one person. Tammy, oh, Tammy, I can't find out. Oh, that's what you're going to say. Can't find out over the 22, 2022 planner. I just shared the link again. All right, Mike put the link in there again. And yeah, later it'll be in the description if you can't find it. So on the exploding turkey, if you fry it, that happens when your turkey has water. Georgina, super chat at $9.99. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you. We'll use that for Bibles. Um, your turkey explodes in frying in the in the frying oil when it has moisture on it. So you have to make sure your turkey is 100% defrosted and totally totally dry. You got to just dry that thing all over. But frankly, I'm not going to take the chance of frying it. I'll maybe fry a turkey leg, but I ain't going to put a whole turkey For in those there. of you who are here for the fire before, <laughs> I'm thinking that Well, we can't use our oven plan. in this house for the show. And so I'm sorry if you missed the fire this year. Go back and watch yesterday's video. I put it in yesterday's video. I think it, I don't know if it's Tommy or Patty, but the roaster is so nice, Alderman Farms says. I got it for a dollar, and it's like stainless steel. It's really nice. My table of three, I'm cooking my turkey your way tonight for the first time. I'm so excited because I never seem to keep mine juicy. This sounds like the trick. It really yeah, is. It really is. And, and then when you go to serve it, put it on your plate and then dribble a little bit of the juice on top cover it with foil until you're ready to eat and it will stay really super moist so louise asks how did you clean out and take out the gizzards if it was completely frozen because some of the stuff is in a bag so how would that work Just so wondering. i turned the turkey standing up stood there for about 10 minutes and let hot water run straight in the cavity of the turkey until it defrosted just the little cavity and i was able to pull out the giblets in the bag of gravy uh, mix stuff, which I don't use to make my gravy. That stuff is gross. Use my homemade gravy, guys. It's just two ingredients. Well, three if you count the salt, but it's just two ingredients for my homemade gravy, and it is so delicious. Don't make that packet stuff. It's not good. All right. Oops. Uh Any advice for a 12-pound turkey that is still half frozen? Yeah. Set it on your counter right now. Well, I don't know what part of the country you're in. Put it on your counter right now. It's six o'clock here in Wyoming. So if you've still got three or four hours before you go to bed, just set it on the counter. Let it get a little bit more defrosted. See if you can get the giblets out. If you can't get the giblets out, run hot water just on the giblets in the center till you can get them out. Put them in your pan and just roast it um, overnight. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, great. Got it. Okay. Oh, Tommy says they're going to fry us all. Y'all, we all, a turkey when we come. Okay, that's a deal. I've never had a fried turkey. I bet it's really good, though, because I love turkey. So I can't imagine if it's fried. I bet that was really I good. I saw the fire video. LOL. Yes, that was an awesome one. We absolutely <laughs> love that one. Yeah, take care. No, scroll up just a minute. Oh. Making gravy, from, making drippings. gravy from drippings. Okay, so I have a video making gravy from drippings, but here's what you do. How to make turkey gravy. Search that on YouTube for my video on living on a dime. Michael, um, Michael, look that up. Can you go to our channel and get the link for him? For turkey sorry. gravy. Um, here's all you do. Pour the drippings into a pan. In a little bowl, mix some water and cornstarch. A half a cup of water with some cornstarch. A couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix it until it's um, 
dissolved. This one right here, how to make sure. Yep. Pour it in your gravy. If you want, oh my goodness, why is my nose itching? Pour it in, um, pour it in your boiling uh, drippings and then just add salt to taste. And that's all you do. You will not have lumpy gravy if you do that because the trick to no lump gravy is to mix your flour and your water or your cornstarch in your water before you put it in the hot liquid. If you get it so that it's not, uh, so you get it's all dissolved in the water first. What creates the lumps is when it's not dissolved. So you dissolve it first in water and then put it in your gravy. Then if you want, you can add a couple of chicken bouillon cubes if you want for a little bit more flavor, but I don't usually need to do that. So, uh -huh. all right, Mike's got the turkey gravy in there, I think. And I was going to do the, we had some questions about the Thanksgiving, the fire one. I was looking for the link to that. <laughs> yeah, actually, there was a live show. It was kind of funny. <laughs> so three years ago, when I cooked a full turkey dinner live, I cooked the entire Thanksgiving dinner live. While we were live, my oven started. Well, first I boiled over the gravy and then my oven started on fire. And I had an oven fire going live. Michael put that in there for you. Um, so, yeah, this is the link to it. And the cool thing about it, when you watch the video and laugh at it and everything, is the actual dinner that she was making totally turned out fine. Yeah. Like, she was able, we, we saved We saved everything. everything. Nothing was ruined or anything, even with the fire. Heather said, the gravy recipe is delicious and easy. Yeah. You don't need to have lumpy gravy, and it's super, super easy. Um, Tay -tay. So. Uh, oh, overnight. So um, it's two two fifty, and then so dinner. you can start it at two fifty if you want for an hour, and then move it down to between one hundred and seventy and two hundred, however much you want, and roast it all night. I just put mine at two hundred and just let it sit at two hundred all night. And it works just fine. And I'm resharing the link to how to roast a turkey because it has all the details, all that stuff that you would want yeah. to know in there. Uh, okay, so let's see. What else is here? My kitchen is in chaos now. So many things to do. Uh, so I can't use our new oven here for the show because it makes this horrid whirring noise. So what I did was I made my turkey yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Or two days ago? I don't remember. I made my turkey yesterday, I think. And um, then I just put it in a pan with a little bit of juice and I froze it. And then tomorrow morning, I'll just put it in the oven, already deboned and everything, and just put it in the oven and just warm it up. Candy says, Tara, your hair is a beautiful color on you. Oh, thanks. All not natural now. All my, all my brown is cut off. <laughs> yeah, I recently I saw a picture of her with the brown the other day, and I was thinking that seems like so long ago. Are turkeys uh, more moist cooking overnight? Yes. yes, and more tender too. And yes, do you put in one or two sticks of butter? One. So I'm not sure how much longer you want to go. Somebody did ask how are you, we're getting settled into our house. Are we? Yes, we are oh, mostly Debbie. settled into our house. I got all the rest of the boxes unpacked, was it a week ago or 10 days ago? And guys, we've been packed in boxes for five years for some stuff. As a matter of fact, one of the last boxes I unpacked was one of the first boxes I packed five years ago. It was kind of a moment for me. I should have recorded it. Because I specifically remember this picture of Dave that I just loved. And I thought, oh, I hate to put this picture of Dave in a box because I loved it so much. He was so cute. And um, it was one of the last ones that I unpacked. And we are all settled. So now yeah, we, don't we to have it, so. to get my kitchen figured out. Mom has a new refrigerator on order, and we're going to take her old refrigerator and get rid of the rattling refrigerator because it's messing up my videos having the rattling refrigerator in 
the cooking videos. And then we're going to get rid of the ovens and get a range. And we're going to knock down the bar. And so I'm having some plans drawn up for my kitchen to see if we want to totally gut the thing and start over again. Or if we want to just kind of go in stages. Ben and the grandma's on. Happy Thanksgiving Hi. Eve, everyone, she says. Just getting ready to overnight roast my turkey, too. Hello, Kellums and Aldermans and friends. Ah, uh, hi, Susie. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so somebody's, uh, the Navy? Uh, the Navy. Uh, sorry, I, I can't quite get that. I would imagine if you lived without the items for five years, you might not need them. I think, were they like extra they were gnomes and things? They were pictures and my extra gnomes. So I wasn't going to get rid of them because they were pictures of the kids and stuff like that. <laughs> Actually, as much as I love my stuff... I'm pretty good about getting rid of stuff. I really am. I like having stuff. I'm not a minimalist by any stretch of the imagination. I like decorating for the holidays. I like decorating my house. I'm not going to go around and not have stuff on my walls. That would absolutely drive me batty if I felt like I was living in a hospital room, not having anything on the walls. So I like decorating and I like my stuff. But when I'm done with something, I... I really have no qualms getting rid of it yeah she's actually been <laughs> pretty well i think it's partly because some families to collect a lot so she's been resisting that temptation my my, my dad's side of the family is hoarders love you guys but they're hoarders <laughs> and okay. so tammy's not, on today. <laughs> <laughs> well, tammy's not a hoarder tammy's the opposite yeah that's, um, that's true <laughs> but uh my dad's side of the family is hoarders, and so I, I have a, I have a conflicting personality because mom's side is really organized and minimalistic. My dad's side's hoarders, so then you get me, and it's like, she's everywhere. I I will tell you when I go to organized it physically makes me ill getting organized because it is so stressful organizing. But I, I forced myself to do it and I get through and do it. And that's one reason why I was like, I'm getting completely unpacked because I was not going to be living in boxes for five more years. I wanted to be unpacked and be done. And I did find two other boxes that I need that I didn't realize weren't unpacked. So I got to get those two done. But I got everything else. I'm all unpacked and I'm just waiting on Mike to make me a set of shelves in the garage temporarily until we make a pantry in there. And um, you just see how I work that in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so I do have all my show cooking stuff just kind of piled in the garage at the moment, but Mike's gonna be making me some shelves to put it on. But other than that, everything else is all, is all unpacked. I'm as, I'm as unpacked as I can get at the moment. So yeah. Uh oh. Nice. Uh -oh. Susan put in a link for a gnome fridge. Okay, it click like. on it. Wait, hold on a second. Can we click on it? A oh. gnome fridge? What? Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Oh. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we stupid glasses. Oh, my goodness gracious. Your mind work. <laughs> oh, actually, let me see yours. Let me see because. Oh, you're not the same prescription. <laughs> uh, oh, my current. goodness. So what is it? A magnet that you put on? It must be a magnet. Wow. That one's the cutest one right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Actually, they're all cute. They are all cute. <laughs> oh, that is too stinking cute. So Susan shared a, a link to uh, to a, a gnome. Is a sticker probably? or, or It's a probably a magnet. magnet. Refrigerator? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Heather, my husband recently passed and he was a pack rat and we moved in April and dealing with his stuff is, oh, I'm sorry, Heather. Yeah, it's really hard when someone you know and love passes away and you have to deal with their stuff. Believe me, my aunts and uncles are, I mean, my grandpa died probably what? Oh my goodness, probably 10, 12 years ago. I don't know. He died quite a while ago. And, um, well, let me think. 
let's see, Jack wasn't even born yet, so it had to have been Wait, probably okay. Grandpa Cooper. So probably 12, 13 years ago. Well, it had to have been. No, it had to have been maybe almost 15 years ago. Anyway, my aunts and uncles are still dealing with his stuff. Oh. Um, and dealing with it stuff that they want to keep and go through but still they're still can, going through it it's a mess i wonder if i can share that whole link uh somebody asked about sharing the link i shared it although it might if it doesn't work sometimes the thing crops it <laughs> uh that was funny uh, amazing grace i'm sending you guys something this week oh Ooh, thanks. it did crop it ah uh, Hold on a second. We will watch it. Guys, we check the post office about three times a week, but do understand if you sent us something, um, because I know we've had some viewers from other countries send us stuff. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> and it hasn't gotten here yet, but the post office told me that stuff from Canada and England is taking a really long time. So just... Uh, We'll just keep watching. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Okay, so I made a short link so I could share it here. Uh, no refrigerator decoration is what it says. So there Kiwi, you go. Kiwi, your cookbook is the one. We use and enjoy it so much. Thank you so much, Tara and Mike and family. Oh, Aww, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Wow. We absolutely love pictures of our family on the walls. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Hello, Sherry in Alabama. Woohoo. Wow, nice. Yep. Do you want to look for more comments or do you want to? Oops. Oh, Tammy got the planner. So, for those of you who are just joining us and you missed it, we just literally, what, 45 minutes ago, got our planner listed for sale. It is shipping directly from the printer. Okay. I'm paying extra to have it shipped directly to the printer because I know there was such a huge delay this year and I don't want you guys to miss out. So if you order it, it will be probably about 10 days, 10 to 12 days before it's shipped, but they're going to print it and ship it straight from there. It's Thanksgiving, so of course they're not going to be printing them tomorrow or Friday or probably this weekend. Um, and so, January. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, it's 20% off. I went ahead and did it right now. It was going to be a Black Friday sale, but we'll just call it Happy Thanksgiving sale. And then Saturday, Friday, we'll call it a Black Friday sale. <laughs> Ooh, Grandma's so happy Homestead says, my mom told me the other day she watches your channel and I was so excited. <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice. Wow. All right. Uh, Woohoo for the planners. I ordered my planner. Thank you guys. Yay! Wow. So now we know the ordering works. Cool. Um, did the gnome thing go through? It didn't go through the first time, but the second time, I think it went through. Okay. It looks like it. <laughs> um, okay. There might be more, but I don't see them. Okay. Do we want to ask it for any more questions? Uh oh, go no? back up to the hoarder. I got to see the hoarder. Go back up just a little. Uh, keep going. Well, where'd it go? Huh. I thought somebody was saying that they were a hoarder. Somebody said I'm a semi hoarder, but then all of a oh. sudden it, I usually like search for it, but for some reason the search isn't working very well right now. Um, okay. All right. Well, I was just going to see. Uh, let's try this one. Ah. Mountain Apony. I am a semi hoarder. I have something like 14 cast iron pots and pans. Okay, wow. you don't need that many. <laughs> a semi hoarder? <laughs> what? <laughs> we have like, we have one cast iron pot and one pan. I have a cast iron Dutch oven. I'm sorry, that came off as rude, but like. <laughs> <laughs> So what? Dave is and on. reaches out of the camera and smacks Dave. Dave is on the minimalist <laughs> side. Yeah. Dave's on the middle. Dave and Ellie. One plate. Dave and Ellie and Jack are all the minimalists in the family. My room has oh, nothing in it. Mike, Dave, and Jack and Ellie are all the minimalists. Me and BJ are, we can hoard if we let it. 
We try not to, but we can hoard if we let it. But 14 cast iron pans, that's a lot. I would probably only have three or four, maybe five or six. It depends. I mean, I guess if you use them all, all the time, but my goodness, cast iron lasts forever. I would sell it and take the money and buy something else. Yes. But yeah. All right. Any last questions real quick? Let me take a quick look here. Ah, oh, Kiwi Traveler, thinking, uh, thinking of you all over there in Oz. Well, good morning. <laughs> uh... All right. Um, what is the plan? What is the planner about? So it's a daily planner that I uh, designed two years ago. This will be the third year. Michael put the link in there. It's a daily planner. It's eight by ten, and you can go see it. And um, it is print on demand this year. So as you order it, they will print it and ship it directly from the printer this year for us so that there's so, as little delay as possible. Since I was unaware that we were going to be doing this right now, on our site, there's pictures of the interior Digital. pages of what they look, look like. Yeah. Do they have that too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I just didn't know because you yeah. didn't warn me. Yeah. Uh. Christina M. Speaking of moms, my mom is watching you all for the first time. She said, Mike seems so happy. <laughs> it's all a farce. <laughs> no, he um, Actually, my he smiles, smiles a lot. Yeah. A gift. yeah, definitely. He smiles a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Mike. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Rhonda, I get so excited about the cookbook. Listen, if you ordered our cookbook, we are still waiting for them to ship it. It is now on the ground in the United States, in Seattle. But the trucking company has not picked up our container yet to bring it to our home. I have threatened to drive out there myself and pick it up. <laughs> but I would probably end up in jail. Because you guys know me. I'd be like, I want my cookbooks now, people. You need to get together, people. Um, we every week we are in, um, contact with the shipping company and I'll probably be in touch with her again on Monday. Uh, basically what she said is that it's currently locked in a gate at the port that there's another, the port, the people that control the port have locked that up, but apparently there's some rule change coming that will find them for not moving those things out of the port. So apparently they're thinking that'll be a positive thing for getting the books out sooner. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully pretty soon, but we're not really sure. And hopefully around Monday or Tuesday, I will be able to send out an email with a little more detail about mm -hmm. what we're thinking as the timeline. Yeah. Elizabeth, I just got a great deal at the grocery store on canned vegetables, name brand, by the way, I've seen in years she's got the best deal she's seen in years guys i'm telling you the your grocery bill does not have to go up at all um is it better to have fresh or, or canned fresh. oh so here's the deal as far as nutritional value frozen is the best then fresh then canned but i mean my goodness just eating any vegetables is better than nothing at all but frozen says. frozen is the best then fresh then can't because people think fresh vegetables are really healthy, but unless you grow it in your own garden and eat it right away, the vegetables at the grocery store could be up to two to three weeks old and are, have lost a lot of the nutritional, uh, a lot of the nutrients just sitting on the shelf for so long. So that, so fresh isn't necessarily always better. Ah, uh, Cowgirl Jones, Mr. Mike, your laugh is contagious. Thank you. You're the second person that told me that today. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. I think that's it for, uh, yep. I think All that's right. it for questions right now. Livingonadime.com, guys. Planners are 20% off. Our cookbooks are 35% off. And if you need gluten-free, dairy-free, those we have in stock also. If you need a Bible, we do have Bibles for free. If you cannot afford one, if you can't afford one, please buy it so we can use that money to send to someone who can't afford it. But um, if you need a Bible, livingonadime.com. Click on the uh, shop and you will find all those things there. The planner, we will put the link in the description below because it is different from our shop because it's shipping straight from the printer. Um, 
Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We need to be thankful that the pilgrims risked their lives to come over so we could live free. And we're thankful for you. And we are thankful for you. Yes. We really appreciate you guys, our viewers. We do love you. Believe it or not, sometimes I get a little persnickety. <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> what? Whoa! Wait a minute. What, what do you that? mean? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> We will see you guys next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Livingonadime.com.